All right, welcome to my FL Studio template version two. I've worked super, super hard on this template. So version one, over all my years of doing my FL Studio courses, I was always using version one. It was working really, really good, but it just had a couple shortcomings. Mainly when I was making the beat, everything would be so loud. So when it would hit the master, everything would be so loud at the master and it would be really hard to turn things down. Because if you understand how mixing works, if we turn down the volume here, it actually sends less volume into our sends. And so that is affecting the balance of our mix. So in other words, we really can't just grab our inserts and turn them down because we're actually skewing the balance that we like. So what version two does is first of all, you can see the mixer inserts are down that we're not going to have to fight with volume. And we also now have tons of control to turn things up. Additionally, all audio is going to now a submix. All right. This is my own setup here. Again, you will not see this taught out there. This provides a nice global way to turn down our volume to get the mastering sweet spot every single time. Now, in version two, I want to share with you guys that it now comes with a training, okay? You get an in-depth training. It's over three hours long, has 15 videos, and it's teaching, you know, how to install the template, how to set it up, and how to get my actual workflow in FL Studio. In addition, I will just load up this project. We actually create a beat from scratch with this template and I share how to set everything up, how to get everything into the mixer, how to do all your routing, teach you about sends, teach you about, uh, as you can see here, we can do a cool parallel processing on the master because of the sub bus. So again, this is all to do with my FL Studio template version two. So at the moment, my website looks like this. You're just going to go to templates, premium template version two. All right, I'm really excited to get this out. Now, my template, it is not heavy. All right, let's just look at this. So as you can see, there is a lot of FL Studio stock plugins. So you do not need third-party plugins. I will share in the package, if you go to assets and you go to mixer presets and version two, I have given you drag and drop components. So if you actually want my real exact setup, I have given you my mastering chain, okay? And it has fab filter and T racks like you're seeing right here. But by default, if I load up the template, again, this is stock. You do not need to have third party plugins to get this template to follow in my courses and stuff like that. You can just see it's stock plugins, but I have now given you drag and drop components. So, for example, if you have Fab Filter and T Rex, you can get my actual setup. If you just have Fab Filter, I've given you a mastering chain without the T Rex. So, for example, here is the T Rex one. I'm just going to drag it into FL Studio. You would save this, you would overwrite the template. Now it always loads with my master chain. And then again, I just keep stock plugins here because it's easy for you know, compatibility, easy for teaching, don't have to worry about updating plugins or buying plugins. And this has just been like a revolutionary workflow for myself. It's very lightweight. Okay. So let's just break this down a little bit further. So you guys can come to this product page. And if you're watching this video, you may be on this page already, and you can just learn more about it. So I'm telling you that it is a revolutionary FL Studio workflow, you can get parallel mastering, so powerful, it reduces tons of clicks. And if you take my FL Studio courses, it gives a great education experience. Okay, again, you get the training videos. So you, you can just see it right here. Uh, there would be a video this video that you're watching right now. Again, you can click you can watch inside the platform. So again, you just watch any of these training videos that are a part of the version two template, you can read the description, you can complete the lesson, track your progress. Okay, so let's just go a little, a little bit further. So again, um, my FL Studio template, it's my workflow, it reduces clicks, and it's helped me so much as a producer using FL Studio for students who like my training, it allows them to follow step by step. All right. Uh, again, only stock plugins are used, but I have the new drag and drop components if you want to get my master set up, and it works for FL Studio 21 you know, 0.2, 0.3 and newer. Okay, so you got to have FL Studio 21. Again, there's all like the lessons, it is aimed at intermediate, like I really break down how the FL Studio mixer works, which is really what this template is, is uh, helping us with, all right, all kind of like with the mixer, once we make our beat, we send our stuff to the mixer, the mixer is really where things happen to give you that professional polished sound, right. And as you can see, we have send set up if we want reverb, you literally just click 
seven, let's say this is a piano, you literally just down, you have reverb. Now, not to say it's gonna sound good, but you can blend in the amount you want. You can turn it up and down. Again, I break all that down in the courses, all right, in the, uh, in the trainings here, okay? So again, you get the template, you get the course, you get some practice projects. Let me share that here quickly. So again, because I do so much education, I want to teach you how to use FL Studio. This is much more than just a template. It is my own workflow and you get training. So if you come to assets, you go to practice template, you can see that version one, but it's been revamped, all right? So it's using the new version two layout with the old assets. And then version two is a new practice project, which is gonna teach you about the submix, all right? It's gonna teach you some tricks that we can do to make things really stand out. And again, I break that all down in the videos, right? So also I'm throwing in a really cool thing. It's a single toolbar layout in FL Studio. You can see up here. So this gives more vertical space and I include all of this stuff for you, okay? This template is more than just a template. It is an experience for my FL Studio education to you, okay? So if you wanna learn more about my FL Studio template, again, just visit this product page. You can scroll down. I promise you, if you read through here, you're gonna learn a lot. You can even listen to the beat that we make. So you can listen to it there, just read through here. So for example, is a template necessary, right? A lot of people say that templates aren't good, but a lot of these are done for you, right? The template's trying to do everything. And no, those templates don't work. But if you don't have a template, you are wasting time. Okay, and I break all that down for you about how my FL Studio template right here, it's about reducing the amount of clicks at each step of the process. So we have beat making, we have arrangement, we have mixing, we have mastering. And this template here specifically targets the beat making, the mixing, and the mastering. Okay, it reduces the amount of clicks so that we can flow from one stage of the production process to the next all in one project, nice and fast, all right? I like to do everything in one project. Some people like to make the beat, bounce it out, do their stuff in another project. I have found over my years, one project is the easiest to maintain and just to flow. Again, I break all this down for you. Everything I just talked about, the music production process in order consists of beat making, arrangement, mixing, mastering. But I tell you that beat making, mixing, and mastering, they all benefit from a template. You know, it has to stay out of the way, but it reduces clicks, it decreases the setup time. So in other words, we get, if I open up a fresh instance of FL Studio, I can instantly start making a beat once I'm done making the beat, I can instantly start mixing, then I can quickly go to the mastering. Again, we make this beat right here from scratch. Right? You can see I have my submix. Let's say it's a little too loud. I think I hear a little bit of distortion. I can turn it down a little bit, right? And that's going into the master, getting the mastering sweet spot. If you have questions, I can always add more questions. I left a section here. So if you have questions, you send me an email. And if I haven't already answered it, uh, I could just make a quick video. So you can see everything that you learn. You learn about, you know, first of all, this is basic, but how to set up the template, but how to set up the FL Studio windows. Like, as you can see, my stuff is very, very organized. I can hit enter, full screen, come back. I have a very unique way of using FL Studio. And this video right here will teach you a lot about my setup, okay? I share my exact settings. I then teach you about how the FL Studio Mixer works. So for example, if you don't know what series and parallel processing is, if you don't understand how the cables route or the difference between like the fader and one of these knobs, like, you know, what's the difference between them? I break it down in depth. That video alone is like over a half hour. It's very, very in depth. I give you a breakdown of the practice project version one. Again, it's point one because it's updated using the new version two template. We have version two, I talk about each send. For example, I have reverb, reverb two, delay. Let's just go to FL Studio. So reverb, reverb two, delay. I have a specific video talking about why I have each one and the benefits that it gives us as a producer. Uh, we make our custom beat. That one again is like a half hour video. Talk to you about reference tracks. So for example, if you want to listen to one track to another, I teach you how to do that so that the reference track is not going to the master. It's not being mastered again. We can listen to the reference separate to your master so you can compare between them. And I teach you how to do that right in, in uh, this video right here. I teach you how to set up the parallel processing on the master right here, okay? Parallel processing. You do not get this stock in FL Studio. You have to know how to set this up. I teach you how to do it and my version two template allows you to do it way easier. So just visit this product page, read through. Again, I have been 
teaching FL Studio for so long. I'm an FL Studio trainer. I have over 34 FL Studio courses. I've written books. As you can see, I even wrote a book about templates because I'm so serious about what makes a good template. Like I have experienced good and bad templates. A good template, like I say right here, it should be lightweight so it opens fast. It reduces the amount of clicks at each stage of the production process. And that's what my template delivers as well as gives a premium experience with all the education that you get. As you can see, I went really, you know, I really, really planned version two. I even took pencil crayons. I tried to figure out how I can set up this FL Studio mixer that benefits me. And if it benefits me, it's going to benefit you as a student because you get to follow my training. All right. Because again, if you are new to my platform, I'll just come here to, um, join platform, you can see that you can watch all of these courses, right? You can join the platform, you can follow along with all of my training. And so when I'm talking about this template, I am talking about students who join the platform, they want to learn with me. And all along, we have been on version one, but now we're on version two, which again, fixes a lot of those shortcomings. We now have the sub bus. You're now able to do parallel processing. I have revamped the sends a little bit. I've, I've also docked them to the right so you can close it if you don't want to use them. And then you can bring it back, all right? This stuff right here is going to give you the professional mix that you're looking for if you know how to use it, right? There's a lot of knowledge behind that, but that is why I created these training videos because people will have a lot of questions. I want you to get the best experience using this template and I have provided all the resources. I've you know given you the template. I've given you practice projects. I've given you in-depth trainings. As you can see, it is you know three hours long. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. What on the last thing I want to quickly close. So I have a help area. You can see I have the help area for the premium template. And I also have this at the very, very bottom of the product description. So again you can read through here. You can learn more about you know my mindset behind a template. You will get a really, really good experience. Again, there's that new submix and there's the template like you've been seeing. But if I scroll down again at the very, very bottom, you can see uh, the FL Studio template help guides. All right. So again, if you have questions, feel free to reach out and how you check out on my site, you simply just go uh, buy the template. And again, you get the course for free and you can either view the cart or you can go check out. OK, and then you just go proceed to check out. And then this is your checkout experience. So email, first name, last name. There is the price and you can choose credit card or PayPal. You got to agree to the terms. If you want to read the terms, you can always click the terms. You can read through there. If you want to join the newsletter, you can. You don't have to. And then you check out. If you have any questions, again, like I said, just reach out and uh, there's my email.